Reggie Crawford, wide receiver, University of South Dakota. We're good. Darian Bolden, cornerback, University of South Dakota. Uh, growing up, I played three sports. Played basketball, baseball, and football. Picked up football kind of late. I never thought I'd actually play it. I was more a baseball, baseball basketball guy. Uh, I competed on the national team. Uh, we were ranked like six in the country. My best friend, Jason Tatum, was at, I played with him last year, happens to be in the league. Always thought I'd be behind him playing somewhere. Played three sports growing up, um, football, track, and a uh, basketball guy. My Aunt Linda, she put a football in my hand uh, when I was probably about two years old. Her and my mom and my grandma. And I just loved it ever since. My big cousin who died, uh, Aaron Williams, he played football, so I just always looked up to him. I knew Reggie um, since seventh, eighth grade. We kind of knew each other before that, just kind of growing up around St. Louis. Most uh, top athletes in the area kind of know each other. You know, we're pretty cordial. Me and him go way back, uh, that's my guy. Um, like you said, we both went to two different high schools, but uh, we still kept in touch during high school. In eighth grade, we ended up playing against each other in like this Thanksgiving tournament. And I was playing on another team, he was playing on another. And uh, you know, we had a pretty good game. I'm not sure who won that game. A couple months later, they ended up calling us all together and we combined uh, the St. Louis uh, FBU team. And when we did that, kind of just gelled since then. We were like ranked fourth in the nation. Uh, that's when I really found out like, I really can do something with football. Me and Darian tend to stick together a lot. You know, you see me, you see him. You know, on the field, you know, we're still best friends, but we know that we have to compete. And if the ball's in the air, you know, may the best man come down with it. One day he'll, like, he'll just, just flat out beat me. And then some days I just beat him. That's just both of our nature. Like, it's just, we're both very, very competitive. You know, it's nothing but uh, tough love. The red shirt season was uh, definitely, it was hard at first. Who being a red shirt, uh, it's a grind. Uh, with the, the double rep skellies all practice. I wouldn't say taking off a year, but not playing like actual football, playing in the game. Um, that was hard, but after we looked at it in December, it was like we got stronger, faster. It was definitely beneficial. Yeah, I gotta, you know, I gotta keep it down. I just used it as an opportunity to get better. I didn't want to really look at my red shirt year as a, as a year for me, like taking off. I just looked at it as like, um, Basically, I'm just gonna prepare myself now so when my time comes, I can step into that role they need me to step into. Y'all know what's going on. We're out here looking at the camera, let's get it. <laughs> and I was frustrated because no things were coming as easy. But uh, looking back at it now, I say it's probably the most beneficial thing I've ever done. Mentally, I was prepared, playbook. Physically, in the weight room, it just helped me prepare my body. So I feel like this is probably years I'm probably the most prepared. Coming from, you know, a school where, you know, you're considered the guy or you played so much, it can definitely be hard for an adjustment year. I always had my own motivation, but I had to find it even more, being on my own. I wouldn't say being grown, but being, like, on your own and having to make your own decisions. I'm cold with the crossover now. Not, not you, just me. And uh, college is, is way more mental. High school, uh, it's kind of just, you know, you're out there uh, being an athlete. Uh, I say technique really matters in college, so I really emphasize on my technique. And uh, just, just the small things, you know, just pushing the route to the extra depth, you know, dropping your hips on that route, making sure I get out that cut, being explosive. You know, those things I really didn't have to emphasize on the high school because I was probably bigger or faster than everybody. You know, practice period. Um, some days, you know, sometimes you're not going to feel it, but some days you just like, you know, I really love football, so I'm going to go out here and give it my all, even, even if I'm not like really practicing to play sat on Saturdays, but just to help my teammates out, you know. We're a young group, but I think we're very strong when it all comes down to it. And uh, we're going to put it all out on the field when it comes down to that game day. Just looking forward to wearing that South Dakota jersey and, you know, just having fun. Whoa. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.